Well, the book just blew my mind. You know, David Grand, uh, you know, is an incredible writer, and uh, and 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 my partner Dan was like his favorite writer. You know, so when the you know so the the story was, you know, a story that I had no knowledge of, and. Uh, and I just feel like it was like a long overdue, you know, I feel like the Native Americans really haven't had that, that story told, you know, so, um, you know, it just really impressed me. I hope everybody receives it well. It's, listen, it's a human story. Um, you know, it's a story everybody can relate to. I mean, these people have been, you know, per persecuted for, you know, so many years, and I just feel like this is a great, you know, way to kind of bring attention to that. And, uh, and I feel like uh, healing, you know, we, we need to heal, and, and I ho hopefully this, you know, can, can help a little bit. Amazing city, and I'm really excited for our global audience to see. This is a very important film, touches on many, many subjects that most of us can understand, have seen or been through at a time. It's just a hidden story that I think is definitely time for it to be revealed. Oh, the talent pool is spectacular, really. Um, I, I like, you know, of course, there's the obvious Leonardo and Robert De Niro, and then there's Lily Gladstone and all, Cara Jade Myers and Jillian and all the other Native actors, Tatanka Means, and really just have a strong representation from Native America in this film, including our Osage people that are ever present. As you can see, I represent a lot of different cultures and both sides of this coin. And it's interesting for me because I get to um, explore that pivotal moment where um, we have a story to tell the Osage people uh, that's been hidden. It wasn't talked about when I was growing up. You know, it was, it was sort of a forbidden subject, and now, a hundred years later, it's out there in, in, in the present. And I was so so fortunate to be um, appointed by um, Chief Standing Bear as the Osage Nation ambassador, and then to be brought along even further with a cons as a consulting producer with Marty and and the rest of the team. I think that the international audience has always loved natives. They always love our stories. They appreciate the way that we dress. So I'm very excited for everyone to, to see it internationally. The experience was beyond belief. And um, for someone who's never been in this industry and came into it, but really everyone was so gracious and worked so incredibly hard and really had a true commitment of integrity and authenticity. Uh, from the actors, the directors, everyone on crew, and uh, really trying to make this story uh, and the representation in it to be exactly the way uh, that we perceive ourselves. It's been a blast. Um, the Mexican people have been so welcoming and just so friendly and wonderful, so I really had a really good time. This is probably one of the most rewarding movies I've ever worked on. It was such a privilege to go to Oklahoma and work with the Osage people. And um, we just couldn't be more proud to bring this story to Mexico and the world. Well, you have people like Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio, who are just obviously world famous people. But typical with Martin Scorsese, he populates his films with just an incredible variety of supporting actors who, even if they're on screen for five minutes, you remember them. They're just um, Jesse Plemons and Louis Kenshelmi and, of course, Lily Gladstone, who's just extraordinary and mesmerizing. I hope that people, you know, appreciate and really understand the depths of this tragic story that happened in America to the Osage people. Um, and I hope it helps bring an awareness and understanding of what they have gone through and that they've survived, that they are here today and their culture is here and despite all the attempts to um, destroy it, that they have survived as a people and a culture. Well, I think the story itself has elements of stuff that you would expect to see in my movies. It's this approach, however, is from another angle. And I think it's from a more personal uh, side, which is the story of uh, the husband and wife, uh, Ernest and Molly. And, and more so through Molly, I think, and how it affects her. We don't, sh we don't um, shy away from showing anything, but it has a different uh, resonance 
because of her, really. I've been here two days. I love this city. People are beautiful. Interestingly, I told the story to a couple of people yesterday and today and here in Mexico, and both of them said, this story is familiar to us. Uh, and she explained, both of them, why. So um, I, I'm learning that our story has been occurring throughout our countries for hundreds of years. It's time for the younger generation to step up because my generation, we're moving on and we will be here to support them. But if we're not ready, it'll be something else that will come. So it's your generation that I'm looking towards. Well, my grandparents' generation, it wasn't, I mean, that long ago. Um, my father grew up in this time. So we have uh, not talked about it too much. And David Grant's book began us to speak more of it. And this movie, to see it, we are very more than satisfied. I've only been here briefly, but for, from what I've seen so far, it's so beautiful. The people are so lovely, and this is extremely exciting for this film. I think it's very important. Um, first, firstly, that you know that Americans see this film and understand that this is a story that even they don't know happened. But then, for the film as it's going to be presented by Apple to be dropped all over the globe at the same time, I think is going to be really, really important. The Osage Nation was very supportive, and we had a lovely group of actors to select from, but then we went deeper and we went into the Osage community to find our supporting players, and they are terrific in this film. The Master Scorsese is, is certainly uh, pays so much attention to every minutia of a story, first of all, the characters, that's his focus, and also the authenticity of telling a story that's true to the soul, you know. So, so uh, this is a film that's based on a, something historical, but he really goes into the intimate aspects of, of these characters. Lots of, lots of that part of the story is, let's say, invented, but, but it's, uh, I, I find his perspective just uh, amazing and just being able to be part of that and, and also being meticulous about the cinematography is uh, really a, quite something for me. Pues, uh, esta es una historia que también tiene sentido para toda Latinoamérica, ¿no? bueno, todo el continente y bueno, muchos otros lugares del mundo. O sea, es una historia de, de conquista, abuso, Eh, y de un choque de culturas y un encuentro también de culturas y cómo resolver estas situaciones que bueno obviamente en México pues lo hemos vivido desde la conquista y seguimos tratando de entender cuál es nuestra identidad y cómo cómo vivir con esta historia que es parte de nuestra sangre it was amazing the people I met the people I was able to to get to know and work together with uh, it's such an important movie, such an important story to be told today. Uh, it was very emotional at times. Obviously we talked about the characters and we did makeup tests uh, along with Marty, checking with him of course because he had very specific ideas. And we had an incredible research department. And Marion Bauer led that and it was an office where you walked in, you had folders, books, uh, pictures on the walls that you could just use to to, um, to, to recreate those characters. You know, there were the people that cared about fashion, but there were the more traditional ones. And there, of course, you wanted to make sure that even though no makeup doesn't mean there is no makeup involved, but, you know, we wanted to make sure that it looks really natural.